हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल वालेकुम असलम आई एम धर्म अगेन एज आई प्रोमिस्ड विद यू नो हॉस स्टोरी फॉर आवर ग्रेट ट्रेनिंग लीडरशिप लेसन्स बिफोर आई प्रोसीड ऑन दिस यू नो पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी ऑफ ए हॉर्स Uh, I would like to uh, go down the memory line in history and uh, mention a few famous horses. Uh, Alexander the Great, he he his horse name was uh, Boosphalus. Uh, Lord of Wellington, who fought against Napoleon Bonaparte, his horse name was Copenhagen, and uh, coming to Napoleon Bonaparte, his horse name was. Uh, uh marengo and when we look back in india rani jhansi used a horse uh, whose name was badal another horse was pavan also she had and uh, maharana pratap uh, also had a you know very famous horse and its name was chetak uh and coming back to you know race course there have been few horses uh, which are you know which stand you know um, very prominent among us the crowd man of war war admiral sibiscuit and secretariat sibiscuit and secretariat they have been famous for uh, you know their own reasons and today uh, we have we our hero is uh, sibiscuit i have named this story the legend of sibiscuit a uh, life lessons from race course that is our lesson uh, friends i am not here to uh, dwell upon uh, you know on the history of race course or the history of ra- uh, horses i have just chosen a horse to dwell upon to uh, dive deep into training lessons how we can derive certain training lessons from uh, this uh, you know uh, race horse story uh before we get on to the training lessons let us uh, you know uh, learn something about this horse uh there has been a film also uh, even two two films have been um, are there uh, uh this film was made in 2000 you know 3 and uh, uh, it was based on a book uh, written by Laura Helen Brand this is uh, the page of that book and uh, we we will come to you know that uh, uh, pictures from uh, film also if it is possible so this is the page of that laura helen brand's book an american legend sibiscuit and american legend if we uh, you know look into the importance why sibiscuit was so important made into a major motion picture starring toby maguire and jeff daniels this uh, Uh, uh this was the uh, name of the movie in 1938 one figure received more press coverage than mussolini hitler or fdr an undersized cooked legged race horse by the name sibiscuit misunderstood and mishandled sibiscuit had spent seasons floundering in the lower circles he was not a cultural icon and a world class athlete until a chance chance meeting of three men together they created a champion this is a story which topped the best seller charts for over 2 years a riveting tale of grit grace luck and an underdog's stubborn determination to win against all odds the true story of three men and their dreams for a race horse sibiscuit which encompasses a pivotal moment in american history its resurrection from the depression so this is a um, uh, a peep into the story of our legend sibiscuit uh kabik to 
when we talk about sibiscuit we have to talk about three men also who trained this horse uh, who uh, were behind the success of this horse uh, let us start with sibiscuit first of course because uh, sibiscuit is our hero our soldier uh, sibiscuit was a mishandled mistreated horse uh, he was uh, a undersized horse crooked legged horse uh, his legs were uh, you know protruding um, sideways and he was thought of lazy he was thought of lazy that is why he was mistreated mishandled by cruel people and they beat him to pulp uh, red pollard his jockey uh, he was uh, a, you know a poor person Uh, doing odd jobs petty jobs he did you know he did work as a boxer also before uh, he was hired by uh, uh, charles howard as jockey of uh, sibiscuit and tom smith he was a, he also worked as a you know for, uh, as a foreman at a uh, cattle ranch uh, but although he was not uh, doing very well but he 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 had something in him he was a very promising man he has been called horse healers he was a silent person but he he knew his uh, job and uh, he he uh, by instincts he knew that this horse is good and this horse is not that good so uh, he he believed in the uh, you know training of horses and uh, because he 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 had certain way with them uh then these three people these three you know creatures we say i cannot say people these three creatures they were unappreciated they were uh, uh you know um unrecognized and they were unproven but then they came together they were put together by a great man charles howard Charles Howard was uh, the uh, you know uh, owner of uh, a big franchise uh, in San Francisco uh, which ran uh, horses for races and uh, uh, when Sibiscuit was hired uh, he was sitting with the uh, uh, Sibiscuit was bought he was sitting with his uh, uh, you know wife and uh, uh, enjoying a uh, race horse where sibiscuit was also running his wife bet him that uh, uh, this horse is going to lose and if it if the horse wins she will she would offer him a drink and then sibiscuit won and charles howard bought him for 8000 dollars so uh, these you know three people they came together they you know leverage their differences they brought different perspectives and they created a team and then they created a legend so this is how you know team teams work uh, uh now looking at the you know data of sibiscuit in the beginning as i told you that uh, the horse was mistreated mishandled and he was just floundering in low circles he was not able to get on to some big races uh but then tom smith was uh, set eyes upon this horse and he you know asked charles howard to buy that horse he said about uh, uh Uh, uh uh this horse he had real stuff in him i want that horse and the horse was bought and in 1938 by winning you know by bringing many laurels uh, running in not that famous you know circles in 1938 then he you know defeated war admiral and this was the horse moment this was the moment for this horse all war admiral was the champion at that time and uh, in 1938 by defeating war admiral he became the horse of the year in in united states and then in 1940 he 
he became the world champion by you know winning the santa anita handicap that was the horse uh, that was the horse race name as it is known uh and then he didn't look back he won many races and uh, he was uh, you know rewarded with a statue in american hall of fame that was a great honor for a horse uh, american hall of fame is uh, a place where statues are built for the big personalities presidents war heroes uh, you know sports people and this horse was honored with a statue in that hall of fame so this these are the you know achievements of this horse and how this horse uh, you know was trained that is another story here uh by this you know wonderful team uh by you know coming together of this wonderful team a legend was created and uh, the lesson we learn here from this story i am going to begin with the, those lessons now let us go to the lessons first lesson is unlikely champions can emerge in hard times unlikely champions can emerge in hard times that is the greatest lesson of uh, uh, you know this uh, uh, story that these three people uh, these three uh, you know two people and one horse they were you know unappreciated unknown you know and unproven but then they came together and they could be, make you know became a team and they achieved success uh sibiscuit had a thick body and stubby legs he had been abused as a young horse and faced uh, hardships at the hands of cool men who labeled him as lazy and beat him to a pulp emotionally and physically red polar the fledgling hobbling jockey left home at 15 he wandered around the country seeking experience as a jockey and began moonlighting as a boxer tom smith known as a horse whisperer worked as a foreman at a cattle ranch before finding work as a horse trainer smith also took pride in healing horses and believed in the importance of knowing a horse emotionally these three men were three underdogs these three and were under dogs they were emotionally virtually unknown um, unappreciated and unproven so in our daily lives also you know we come across people who are uh, uh, you know um, are not successful maybe that they are rejected people but then they create you know uh, uh, because they they are uh, brought up in adverse circumstances they have to fight with odds they become stronger people and they bring you know laurels some day they do something which is recognized and then that they you know this way they get their moment uh uh i think we have uh, talked about it all four of these characters emerge as heroes and un- unlikely champions they pull together for a common goal they celebrate it and leverage their differences to fulfill their final objectives so this is about uh, uh team work that uh, sometime weak people individually they may be weak but uh, then they you know come together they leverage their differences and they they add on to the story by bringing their own perspectives uh so this way you know uh, wonders can be created uh, we 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 don't know uh, you know uh, we uh, don't know how strong we are until we you know stretch our uh, until we our mes- muscles are tested and uh, we don't know the strength of our convictions our thoughts until they are also stretched uh, and our you know the things which we think we, the things uh, the you know characteristics in us which we take as idiosyncrasies they may be you know perspectives 
there may be different angles of looking at something so uh, uh, the idea is that different opinions should be you know different opinions different perspectives uh, different personalities should be accepted and uh, that's how a diversity is created uh, you know and uh, uh, wonders are created so this is first lesson that unlikely heroes can emerge as champions second lesson is all creatures all creatures have their own potentials and thrive in a safe place all creatures have their own potentials and thrive in a safe place many characters in sibiscus story were wounded deeply scarred from injuries of their past another loss another rejection another whip this is the you know case with you know many ordinary people that uh, uh, there are moments you know uh, uh, there are moments which everybody faces in their own lives there are moments when we are afraid uh, of the of this you know feeling that we are going to fail when we are afraid to take risks when we are afraid uh, when we are afraid to stick our necks out uh, like uh, that if suppose we are uh, putting an effort we are taking a risk we will be revealed uh, uh, it will be revealed that what that we don't know things or maybe that we know something so this is a, uh, you know rejection people are rejected sometimes another loss another whip Uh, another rejection another loss another whip this is wonderful language sometimes feel people feel rejected sometimes they are beaten sometimes you know they uh, uh, um, uh, they are uh, commented upon but then people who had their who who had you, who have stuff in them they prove somehow they prove themselves so this is uh but then safe house there is a, a word all creatures have their own potentials and thrive in a safe place people have their own potentials as in this story uh sibiscuit though he was no, nobby legged but he had a strong body and uh, this was found out by tom smith uh red pollard as a jockey he also proved himself although he was blind in one eye but he was a great motivator he was a great handler of the horse and tom smith he was uh, you know uh, uh he he didn't get chances but then he knew his uh, you know job and uh, charles howard was the person who provided them a safe house he brought them together he uh, you know uh, um, encourage his uh, uh, he, uh, he provided his jockey red pollard with uh, you know uh, sufficient and delicious foods uh, he advised his uh, trainer tom smith to follow his instinct because he was an instinctive person and uh, he uh, you know uh, provided all the facility to sibiscuit uh besides providing him comfortable life uh, he provided them with companions also like uh, a dog a you know monkey and a you know cat and he he felt relaxed so uh, this was uh, by creating a safe place the team members fears diminish and their potential and loyalty thrive here is a man who with the kindness respect and trust encourages his people to succeed so this is about charles howard he was the leader of this team and uh, he you know made them heroes third lesson is luck follows a prepared mind 
uh, in the films biscuit howard's character states when the little guy doesn't know or believe he is the little guy uh, 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 in the films biscuits Howard's character states when the little guy doesn't know or believe he is the little guy he can do great things how true is that our limiting beliefs can hold us back and our big dreams can propel us forward luck follows a prepared mind i love this i am a believer in luck but then it was it is not luck only it is your hard work and as i you know uh, uh, impressed upon the idea that you create your own luck it was not sheer luck that uh, biscuit se create create they you know carried on their uh, wins it was it was the fact that they trained hard they you know stretched their muscles uh, they face that they, they took adversity in their steps so and they had teams behind them which were equally committed sibiscuit god a committed trainer a committed jockey and a committed owner who provided him with comforts so this is that uh, luck follows a prepared mind you have to uh, you know prepare for success you have to train hard you you cannot uh, uh, by going to temples by going to you know gurdwaras by going to churches by going to mosques we cannot achieve success i want to impress upon this idea that in india there is no death of religious gurus we are 140 people 140 crore people then why 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 india has been you know lagging behind for centuries because people don't want to people don't want to uh, you know go for hard work instead of going for hard work they they you know run after religious gurus and uh, they they spoil their they waste their money also and they waste their time also and and uh, this is entirely unscientific this is my perspective okay so uh, you have to follow your you follow you have to follow a hard routine you have to work hard you have to stretch yourself for getting success next lesson it, it is never too late to achieve your dreams in the beginning the biscuit was not performing well uh, and uh, in real life also sometimes we fail in the beginning but then at later stage we pick up uh, in so in the beginning as we see in this story sibiscuit was failing he was not getting big offers but then his moment also came and when he got the right you know uh, environment he thrived he showed his potential and he you know became the a winning horse as ll cool j would say dreams don't have deadlines and one great uh, uh, and one great man says is this seat taken it is never too late to find the right seat we can create the life we want at any stage it is simply never too late as long as we have breath so we should continue in our efforts maybe that some day we will be rewarded if we put on we we continue putting on efforts so this is about you know consistency persistence in our efforts next lesson and the most important lesson is that as it was in the earlier you know uh, check you know uh, uh, video also uh, earlier story also you should know your craft it is about skills uh, friends i think this is the most important you know uh, lesson of this story uh time and again in this story uh tom smith you know uh 
took ordinary horses and he trained them he he has been described as he means he has been described as a horse healer also and he has been described as a horse trainer also horse healer you can train a horse if you are able to heal it if you are able to understand it uh like uh, you know uh, he used to say that uh, each horse is an individual if you get into his mind if you understand him uh it will become easy for it will become easy for you to control an in, otherwise intractable beast intractable means uncontrollable beast and at another time he says it is easy to talk to a horse if you understand his language horses stay the same from the day they are born until the day they die they are only changed by the way people treat them so it is the treatment which matters how you treat people to bring out the best from people and as well as you know creatures also you have to understand them you have to understand their likes and dislikes their potential their weaknesses and then treat them accordingly so this is that you should know your stuff an insightful trainer knows his stuff when you know uh, charles howard sent you know tom smith to look for a horse he was able to find out sibiscuit and then he made charles howard to look at the horse during a you know race as i told earlier also that he was sitting with his wife and uh, the horse won and he bought him for 8000 dollars so when he, tom smith looked at the horse he came he at once knew that this is he has some real stuff maybe the, but the horse was not you know very attractive to look at he had knobby uh, you know legs and he was undersized but there was strength in his body there was something which couldn't escape the eyes of this trainer uh he has real stuff in him i can prove him i am positive so he knew that he can take he can make him a winner so this is the most important lesson from my point of view to smoothen the rough edges rough edges there are certain things in our you know personality sometimes in a creature which do not suit when uh, sibiscuit was bought because he was mistreated mishandled he was aggressive violent hostile but then tom smith understood him he toned down his aggression by by providing him by allowing him to sleep as long as he wanted to sleep by providing him you know comfortable you know place to rest and alongside uh, he brought some companions for the horse monkey as i said monkey a monkey a dog and a cat and they played around the horse and he became easy and he his aggression was toned down and his, his potential came out so this is uh preferences may vary from person to person and this usually has a psychological effect on the decisions uh uh on the decisions we make neuro linguistic programming is a widely accepted methodology in helping people assess their own preferences and behavior patterns and as in modern day you know this is age of science this is age of psychology as it as it is said that we are more inside than outside uh, uh, outside just shows you know um, that you are attractive or non attractive uh, but it is inside uh, the potential you know um, is inside our mind it is very boggling so you have to understand different potentials different personalities likes and dislikes and accordingly you have to treat people that is called neuro linguistic programming so this is to un- to understand people that is uh some day we will talk about this also so this is i think uh this is the end of the story uh 
i hope friends that you might have uh, derived uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you might have been able to make your own perspective about this story and how you can benefit from this uh, i would like to you know impress upon the idea that this may be a long video but then lessons are invaluable so uh, look at the video complete go back again to the you know lesson to understand them with these words i take leave of you people and uh, what more i should say i will try to come with another story and very soon till then goodbye shabba khair sasre kal you know good evening namaskar thank you so much